How are you? I'm Dave. Welcome to my Gowanus apartment. Guys, welcome to my loft. We're here, we're in Gowanus. Um, Gowanus is a weird place, but close to Carroll Gardens, close to downtown Brooklyn. It works, Gowanus is the place to be. This is my skateboard wall, skateboard collection. Got the rack from a skateboard shop that was closing down in the city, and my skateboards have just been curated. I'd say my favorite board is my handboard. So this is a custom made bamboo board from California. It really gives you like a surf skate feel. You skate down the street in the city and it's like super flowy, like you move with it. Always get eyes wherever you skate because it's big and your turns are always super drawn out. Favorite board of all time. A lot of surfing influence is obviously in here. I do surf. I've surfed since I was nine. I curated it based on what I like about the Jersey surfing community, the Rockaway surfing community and just the general aesthetic of surfing things. This is my main living space. This is probably where I spend most of my time when I'm in my apartment. It's either between the kitchen or the living room. The bedroom is just for sleeping. I'd say the, what separates like the entryway from the living space is the mirror. This mirror actually has a funny story behind it. There was an American Eagle closing down and they had like this big dumpster outside. They were unloading all the fixtures out of American Eagle. And I was, I was bullshitting with one of the guys. I was like, can I have some of this stuff? And he's like, yeah, whatever you want. Like, just let me know and it's yours. So this mirror actually used to be the fitting room mirror in an American Eagle. Um, and I'll point out some other couple things that I took from American Eagle that you'll be like, oh, there were jeans on that. Like, it makes sense. My first rendition of the photo wall was not what you see here. It was really basic Google surfer pictures and the colors kind of worked, but it didn't, it didn't achieve what I wanted it to achieve. As I was curating, I was like, okay, if we're gonna do photos, we need dope frames. I found a guy online that knocks down old abandoned barns in Texas. And this guy rips the wood down, he shims it up, he like does what he needs to do, and he builds frames from these reclaimed barn wood pieces and I said that's dope because now I can take an old barn that would have gotten thrown away and I can put it on a wall in New York City. There's a backstory behind this picture. I found this in like a, a Instagram hashtag and I was like there's something about this picture that radiates an energy that's different than all other pictures. DM the photographer I was like hey man can I have rights to this I want to feature it on my wall. Could you also tell me the backstory? And they were on a trip in the Maldives, Maldives, Maldives and every day after their trip, they were doing like a photo thing for a brand. They would all go out in the water and when they were toasted out from surfing, they'd paddle way out past the break and they'd sit in a big circle smoking cigarettes, smoking joints and drinking beers. The smiles on these dudes' faces as they sit there. One of my favorite pictures. So none of these boards I surf, not any single one of them. I don't think any of them have ever seen water. This board is my favorite board. Um, I got it from a very good friend of mine, Lindsay. Lindsay made me this board for my birthday, I'd say four years ago, but she hit the nail on the head with just the right amount of blues and the right amount of like shine on it. This is a vintage spectrum board. It's like mid eighties. Um, it was one of my cousins. He passed away when he was, I'd say 35. So I wasn't born yet. And his dad wanted to leave it on the boardwalk by the beach for like a random surfer to take. My dad got in there and said, no, like this is a family type of thing. I'm not just gonna leave it for a random dude to take. I'm gonna keep it, put it in the basement. Now it's just a piece on my wall of like a perfectly maintained vintage board that will stay in this condition for as long as I can keep it. This table, the TV stand table, um, was also another American Eagle garbage piece. I don't know if American Eagle is gonna like that I have their furniture. I think the guy was supposed to destroy it. It's got like this iron rail as well and like this nice thin piece of wormwood. Wormwood is wood that is, I guess the worms get in there almost like a termite and they give you like this nice veining to it. 
This was the table in there that would have the stacks of jeans all along on both sides. So you'd have all your jeans stacked here in the different colors. I was like, now it's gonna be my TV stand. Of everybody that comes into my apartment, there's always one thing that catches their eye. It's not the photo wall, it's not the, not the skateboards, not the random surfboards hanging on the wall. It's gotta be my van sign. I am so proud of this van sign and what it made, it, like how it got here. It never broke. It's like a fragile thing that was never meant to be moved. Blades New York City was like an iconic skate shop and had a everything must go sale, including fixtures. They had boxes of hangers for sale. They had their shoe racks for sale. Everything was for sale. I waited till the last day of this everything must go sale. Their lease was up the next day. They had to be out, they had to clean it out. I was like, it's either gonna go two ways. Either she's gonna give me the sign for free, she's gonna throw it away, or I'm gonna lowball her and I'm gonna get the sign. I went in, it, their sale ended at what, 6 p.m. I went in at 5.45. I was like, I want the sign. Give me your last best price. She's like, this is what I want. I said, all right, I'm gonna give you this. You're gonna give me the sign and the skate rack. And we ended up coming up with a deal. Another big part of how I designed my space is I incorporated like my collections into art. So I ride, um, pretty exclusively ride longboards when I'm surfing. If you know anything about longboards, it's single fin style surfboards, more flow to them. You need a fin. And when you collect surfboards and have a quiver of many boards, you usually acquire many fins. And I figured if I command strip them to the wall, I can take them down whenever I want and I can swap them into my boards as I need. So this is my bedroom. Um, I really only sleep in here. I get dressed in here. Everything else happens outside of my bedroom. I don't even try to use my phone in here. It's just a healthier space if I'm just in here to sleep and nothing else. The walls are a little bit bare in here and I kept it very simple with what I displayed. I did want a good way to display my camera collection and I did have this art piece from my friend Lindsay, which I commissioned her to make, which is a picture of my truck. Um, I collect cars, so one of my favorite, favorite cars is my 1961 Ford F-250. This is the truck. It's all original. It's a red and white two-tone Ford so Lindsay really hit the nail on the head. Check her out, Lindsay Fallick Art on Instagram or at Lindsay Fallick. She'll commission anything you want and she always hits the nail on the head with the flowiness of it. My camera collection, we, it, it, it came from various different places. Um, I thrifted a lot of these. Some of them were my first cameras that I then dropped in a pool. This one, very upset about that. I got this, I loaded my first roll of film into it. I was at a party. Somebody elbowed me and it went straight into the pool. So never got to see any of those pictures. The film was shot, just upset, but there it is, broken film camera. I put these cameras on a shelf that I found in the garbage. This shelf was, this wood, piece of wood, I guess was originally a beam of some sort. You can see like there's some screws were screwed in and the wood split. Found it in the garbage. I gave it a quick sand. I torched it with a lighter to give it that kind of charred effect. And I said, we're gonna keep the nice live edge going on with it because who doesn't like live edge wood shit? Like any middle aged 20 year old, I like to drink. <laughs> so a bar was very important to me. I don't like basic bar carts. You know, you go into these apartments and people just have alcohol sitting on a little cart. It's just awkward to me. It's not the best way to display bottles. So I decided to take some pallet wood. These are actually old pallets. I broke them down. I ripped them to size and I stained them with like this reddish tint because most alcohol bottles have some type of red in them. Put them up with some bracketry and said, I'm going to display my bottles the best way possible. Um, so I love to cook. I'm actually a private chef. I specialize in barbecuing. You can check out my Instagram at barbecue by Dave. I am available always to book to barbecue for you here, Hamptons, Connecticut, New Jersey, wherever you need me, I'm coming out, I'll barbecue for you, I'll give you a special experience. Um, with that, knowing that I love to cook, counter space is important. The way this apartment was built with this kind of table counter extension built in, you walk in, you have a real chef's kitchen to be able to move your trays and cook 
and have a free flowing kitchen, you'll get a kitchen like this. This is great. When they put this apartment together, they utilized the tall ceilings and kind of gave an, an opportunity for extra storage space or an extra bedroom or even your initial bedroom and the rest can be an office space. So I'm grateful for the way they built it because now I have a little space that I didn't really know what to do with and made into like this little hammock chill spot, which I don't spend all that much time in, but I probably should. Uh, apartment came with the ladder. The ladder is like, part, I'm not allowed to throw it away, I'm not allowed to get rid of it, and I'm not allowed to take it out of the apartment, but it works, it's a ladder. And now we have loft space. Thanks for coming, seeing my uh, Gowanus apartment. Gowanus is not all that bad. You maybe get a cool warehouse apartment. Um, you can find me at Instagram at David Dweck, TikTok David underscore Dweck. And yeah, guys, be well.